Hi, everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com. And mom's on the show today, Ingrid. Hi. There she is behind the chips. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So today we're going to show you a really cool sort of desserty snack, okay? And there's nothing better to me than sweet and salty mixed together. Right, Mom? Oh, absolutely. So this is how to make chocolate whiskey dipped potato chips. Now, if you've never had chocolate dipped potato chips, you don't know what you're missing. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna add a little bit of whiskey, a uh, little bit of uh, St. Patrick's Day feel to everything. So we're gonna add some whiskey. You could add other kinds of liqueur. You could add Kahlua, you could add anything else you want, okay? Today, a little tiny bit of whiskey. So mom, what's going on on our stove top? Uh, right now, I just put about a tablespoon of butter in the bottom of the pot and about three and a half to four ounces of chocolate. Okay, so about four ounces of chocolate and a tablespoon of butter. Right. That's melting on low heat on the stove top in a pan, in a mm -hmm. pot. So you could use a double boiler if you wanted to. You could melt your chocolate in the microwave if you wanted to. This is how we're doing it, okay? So that's it. We're gonna let that melt and then we're gonna add a little bit of the whiskey to that mm -hmm. to kind of give it a beautiful flavor. Kick it up a notch. Mm -hmm. Alcohol carries flavor, so that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, and if you don't have chips on hand, you know, you could dip pretzels. Pretzels is a really good, good idea. You could even do crackers. Yeah, so does Saltines. Skin. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So prepare yourself a baking sheet with some parchment or a great silicone mat like I have here. This is from Bake It Fun. These are awesome. And actually, it's great for cookies, but it's going to be used, be used today for our sweet, sweet snacks. While Mom is doing that, I'm going to pick out some of the most beautiful looking chips. You want to pick ones that are full, not broken. I got some nice, thick cut, regular chips. They're wrinkly, the crinkle kinds. And you want a chip like that. It's a nice shape that kind of has that good scoop to it. And those are the ones that we are gonna go ahead and dip. So I'm just gonna get those ready while mom is um, melting that chocolate and we'll be ready to go. This is actually a really cool, quick snack too, or a nice little dessert surprise if someone pops in on you unexpectedly and you don't have anything else on hand but chocolate and chips. This is a really, really cool way to give them a little treat. Yeah, or your kids want a special snack and you don't want to really give them a chocolate bar. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, you could give these away as gifts. You could flavor them in different ways. You could use different chocolates. You could use your favorite chocolate bar and melt that. In. Okay, so whatever it is that you like. Yeah, even marshmallows you could dunk in. Sure could. Yeah. Anything that you'd want to put in a fondue, you could do. All right, I have my chips picked out, but you could use the broken ones. It's not a big deal. It's just if you're going to give them for a gift or present them to people, then go ahead and use the full chips, okay? We're going to add our whiskey at this point. Our chocolate is nice and melted, and Mom's just going to put it on a double boiler now to make sure that it stays nice and uh, liquefied. We're going to add about a half a tablespoon of whiskey. If you added more, it's just going to be kind of too runny. You want it to actually set up on these chips, so you don't want to add too much. So eyeball that mm, and stir that through. All right, so we're ready with the chocolate. You have to be fast. We're gonna dip it in there. Keep part of it um, clean. You don't wanna put that all the way in the chocolate. And then shake off the excess. You can dip the whole thing if you wanted to, but you wanna have a nice little handle to grab them. And then you're just gonna lay that on the sheet to solidify up and repeat. And you might have to melt the chocolate again in between mm -hmm. to finish off what you're doing. But then just lay them out to dry. Oh, these are fun. And you'll see us when we're done these. Mmm, that chocolate's so good. All right, so we're done two trays and they look beautiful. <laughs> look at these guys. So we did the nice ones and then we did the broken ones. And that's okay too. So I'm just gonna let these guys set up. If you have to put them in a colder area of your home, mm -hmm. do that. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next couple minutes and they'll be ready to snack on. Yeah, so, just look at that. Look, they're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh. Really, really nice. See this? Oh my goodness. All right, so we'll see you in a few. These look awesome. Look at these, they're all set up beautifully and they come off of these awesome baking mats yes, so easily. Look at that. Um, sheets. We so are. easy. Beautiful sheets. Yep. You want to try one? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try one of the ugly ones. Yeah. Bake it fun sheets. Is that what they call them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're awesome. They're so handy, aren't mm -hmm. they? So handy. Mom, mm -hmm. that is so good. Now, I need to tell you, 
We used some bittersweet chocolate mm -hmm. and some sweet chocolate. Half and half. Half mm -hmm. and half. I like that little bit of bitterness in there. Otherwise, it's just too sweet. Mm -hmm. And boy, is that tasty with the salty, crispy potato chips. Mm, and just a hint of the whiskey. Mm, the whiskey mm. is awesome in here. Mm. Love it. So, so good. And I would be happy if someone made these for me. <laughs> Gave to me as a gift? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mmm. Mm. Look how perfect they are. Just beautiful. So you have a handle mm -hmm. <laughs> and that gorgeous chocolate. Look at how it's set up. And I like that we use the ridgy chips because it just kind of goes right in those ridges. Mm -hmm. See how pretty that is? And they're a little stronger too. Yeah, that's why I got them. Oh, that's good. Here, it's for you. Perfect one. Oh, thank you, dear. Boy, those are good. Mm -hmm. I'm loving these. This is a nice, quick little snack. Mm. And it might just become an addiction of yours. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. You happy with them? You like oh, them? Oh, I love these. They're so good. What a nice idea. Mm -hmm. When you don't need a whole bunch, like you could coat the whole thing if you wanted to, but then you'd have to fish it out and it'd be a big mess. No, I like to be able to hold on to it and not get my hands dirty. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you need that much chocolate. Mm -mm. You want to have a nice balance between the sweetness and the salty crispiness. Right. Mm. That is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Beautiful. So surprise everyone for St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day. Or use something other than whiskey. You could use anything. What would be your favorite thing to use? Oh, I like this. Pretzels would be good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, after you do this, you could just um, dump the berry tips into um, ground almonds mm -hmm. or pecans or something like that. Or sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Or you could take or some coconut. white. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or you could take white chocolate. And just drizzle it mm -hmm. over top, over all like a spray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be good too, Kim. These are, so, and look at how easy it came right off of here. You can see the design of the silicone mat on the back just came right off like nothing. These are fantastic. Mm. Mm. We're gonna have a nice evening, Kim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watch a movie and eat these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Me too. I really love these. So I hope that you try out this recipe. You're going to love it too. And that's how you make chocolate whiskey dipped potato chips. All right. Check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And make sure you add my channel on Roku for cooking with Kimberly. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.